Hello everyone and welcome to an impromptu unboxing here that I am just far too excited to not open right now. I just got this in the mail and I am so excited. This was such oh, happiness and wonderfulness and then also sadness and just really sad. It was really hard to get a full box of this stuff, a full case of this set of Sumiko Gurashi remints. This was from 2017, so this is a series that was a few years old, but I never knew about it. And then when I finally saw it, I was like, oh, and it's so cute, I really want it, I need it. Uh, they really don't exist anymore, a lot of them anyways. And so like I ordered, like I usually do off of eBay, and the first one that I ordered this, my payment went through and everything, and then I got a message saying, oh, sorry, we actually don't have that item anymore. <sighs> sadness because you know they asked that they were like would you like to instead put that money towards a different thing from our shop and I said no give me my money back <laughs> so I went and I looked and I found another set and I was like oh phew thank god you know same price and everything so I'll just buy from this other seller same freaking thing happened so upset and so I was like I'm never gonna get this full set am I like this is so sad this is so tragic and then I was able to find one last one a few days later I think and this one actually came through and I'm just so excited you guys know how much I love Sumiko Kurashi and this one is Obento no Sumiko so Sumiko's box lunch and they're just they're so cute. It's all like very typical foods that you would see in a packed bento Japanese box lunch. They're just so cute. The little hot dog cut up like an octopus, the apple, the apple bunny, the egg roll, just oh so cute. They're so cute and I'm so excited to open this up. As you can see I did get the full set because uh <laughs> I wanted them all. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so happy. I feel like it's been a while. It really hasn't been that long, I guess, but it's been like maybe a month since I've opened up a box of remints. And to add to that, because I mean, I just, you know, recently opened up my dreaming Eevee ones, but I feel like it's been a minute since I've opened Sumiko Gurashi. So I am really excited to do this. They are just my favorite little babies from Sanrio. They're too, too, too cute for this world, but I'm so glad they exist. So, um, I mean, there's not really any ones that I want. I guess there are some that I want more than others, but like I'm getting... Technically, I should be getting all of them in this set. Anyways, I guess I can show you what they individually are. We've got the first one, which is Neko and Shaki. Apparently, that's how you say salmon. Learn something new every day. And it comes with a little zasso. Then number two is Tonkatsu and Ebi Furai no Shippo in a food cup and both of them are just holding little flags that have their name on it. Number three is the bunny apple there. It's Shirokuma to Usagi Ringo. So freaking cute. That's one of the ones I'm most excited for. Same thing with this number four which is Ebi Furai no Shippo and the, oh, <laughs> the taco wiener. <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound so great in English but the Takoina. Then on the back here, we've got Miniko and Onigiri, which is a rice ball. So the little Suzume bird, and then it almost looks like an owl, like a baby owl. And we have got Shirokuma and the Tamagoyaki and little Nisetsumuri on top with the Furoshiki as his little snail shell, fake snail shell. We have also got Pangin with a Chikuakuri. Oh, I thought that was supposed to be like a uh, octopus, like looks like calamari something or another. That one I really, I had not seen that food before. But then we have also got tokage with ajifurai, which is apparently horse mackerel. And that one just makes me laugh because essentially it's like a little tonkatsu that he's sitting on top of. So first ones first. Whoa, we actually got the first one first. And it looks like these do come with a little checklist, which I personally enjoy getting. And yay, these are a good size. I was scared these were gonna be really, really tiny, but this is actually a good size. It was very cute, very well made, as remints tend to be. I really am thinking, I wanna see if I can find somewhere 
where I can, because you know, a lot of people they get these things and then they can like actually play with the little pieces and use them in like dollhouse sets and stuff. But for me, I just like having them out on display. And so I kind of want to look to see if I can find like really thin little acrylic squares or discs or something that are clear, that are see-through, and then I can just super glue them onto that so then it'll be easier to dust and clean. I won't have to worry about having them set up exactly perfectly. I really am gonna try and look for that, but this one is very cute. It is just nickel. Schnoozing on this salmon cutlet and then little Zasso is tucking itself in with a little fake grass type strip that it is. And they're both just snoozing, taking a little nap. They're very cute. So let's see now if I'm gonna get number two next. How is this happening? I took these, oh, this one apparently didn't get sealed very well. But like, I just took these out of the, I didn't like, I feel like in rements, these don't necessarily come in order, you know, packaged in their box, but okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but curious in any case. But yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to find some little acrylic discs of some sort on like Amazon or something, there has to be. But oh my gosh, this one is so cute. So the little cup is actually bendy, which is cool. It reminds me of the actual little cups that you can get for bentos. And then we have got little tonkatsu and he's got a little blush on his cheeks and also the sauce on his little head. And then we've got little Abby for I know she little Abby Furai is so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. And see, like ones like this, you wouldn't, or I wouldn't feel a need to put on an acrylic disc because it just is automatically nice and secure in there for the most part. But do you get what I'm saying? I don't know. I think it would be nice. I understand some people wouldn't want it because, you know, they want to be able to keep it like normal. But like for me, like I said, I never take them off the shelf. They just sit there. So I'd rather have them nice and secure. But that one is so so, so cute. I adore that one. I just adore that little duo in general. So let's see, my friends. Are we gonna get number three next? I will be shocked. Okay, whew, breaking the cycle. <laughs> like I said, it doesn't really matter, but that was just so strange. Oh, see, yeah, and like in the pictures, you know, they've got it so it looks like they're kind of sitting on little plates, but they're not actually sitting on little plates in the kit. I think that would have been a cute little touch. Although I guess it wouldn't really make sense since these are for a bento box, not for a plated dish, but either way. This one is so cute, just a big onigiri, which is the little Yama mountain character. So, so cute. Onigiri are so good. I made them in college all the time, and I usually stuffed them with like tuna mayo mixture, but then we've just got the little, it looks like a little owl, I don't, I'm not sure on this one, but got a little grain of rice hanging out of its mouth, chowing down. And same thing with little Susume, the cute little, cute little birdie friend of the Subiko Kurashi cast. Oh, they're just so cute, so precious. And to me, just, you know, onigiri is just one of those things where it's like so iconically Japanese, <laughs> if that is okay for me to say. And next, got the Shirokuma bunny apple. So bunny or rabbit is usagi in Japanese and apple is ringo. Hence it's called usagi ringo because it's supposed to look like a little rabbit with the two little ears. The apple what would you call that? The skin of the apple, I guess, peeled back a little bit. And this has just got a little toothpick shaped like Shirokuma's furoshiki, which is really, really cute. Kind of bummed that they put the trademark, the Sanex trademark on Shirokuma's back right there. It was kind of obnoxious of them to do. Usually, you know, they put that on the bottom, but I just love like the texture of this, like texture, I don't know. It just, it looks like an apple slice. It really does in the sense that it's just so chonked the way that it was cut. Oh, that is just so cute. 
so so happy so that is half of them now next up all right we have got the two shirokumas right in a row that's fine by me and this one is like i said earlier just a little egg omelet type of a roll omelet it's like a really thin spread of scrambled eggs and then you know rolled up into a roll and just nice and fluffy and shirokuma's little butt is so cute ah. and then of course my favorite little buddy Nisetsumuri with the furoshiki. He's using it as his fake snail shell. That is just so precious and adorable. I love how these characters all like interact and intertwine and you know copy each other. It's just oh, oh, the friendship. It's so cute. Oh, so 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 cute. So now who do we got next here? I don't know. Tonkake is my favorite, even before Tonkatsu and Ebi Furai. I do love Tokage the most. Get me wrong, Ebi Furai comes in a very close second. Ooh, so this is like a super thin, I bet it was like a smashed, pounded kind of a fish fillet. It's still got a little fish tail on there. And then I'm assuming it just was dipped in batter and fried. And then you just got little Tokage looking all sorts of cute with his little fish sauce bottle. And he's squirting the fish sauce onto the fish fillet. It's very simple. It's very cute. It's very tsubikogurashi. I just love these guys so much. All right, my friends, we've got two left. So we still need to get penguin and the octopus. So let's see who we get first. I think it is, it is penguin. Or excuse me, penguin? because this is the imposter penguin. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this. Okay, because the thing that the fake penguin is usually seen with is a cucumber, you know, looking pickle thing, and you stick the roll onto the cucumber. I really will, I'll have to look up what this is because there must be a reason why he's got on this little it looks like a little beret but maybe it's like a dollop of a cream type sauce or something that you would usually eat with whatever this thing is but this thing is just balanced on the end of the cucumber stick that is so cute i just i i don't know i love little details like that how it's like a, it's a cucumber cut into quarters <laughs> I know, I know. It's the little things, folks. My apologies. My memory card just filled up there. Hopefully that shift wasn't too jarring. Shift in scenery. But we are on our last one. Did we get the octopus sausage with the little tapioca friends? I think so. Yes, we did. Oh my goodness. They are so cute. And of course, little Ebi Furai, who, as I said, is one of my favorites too. Just so, so cute. I love the little tapioca friends too they're just such cute little blob friends oh so cute and like this like it's little things where i love that the blue tapioca isn't sitting directly on top of the pink tapioca it's just slightly akimbo is that the right use of that word so cute ebi furai is looking so cute the little sausage is looking so cute like just absolutely adorable. I love them together. They are just adorable. As I said, why? I mean, I guess that's why the little tapioca friends are there like that. They're kind of mimicking the way that Ebi Furai is sitting on top of the sausage. Otherwise, do they really have a place there? Eh, but I mean, they're friends. So of course they're together. Oh, I am so pleased, you guys. I am so happy, as I said, that I was able to find this set, even though it is an old edition of these remints. I feel very lucky that I was able to get my hands on these guys. Certainly let me know in the comments down below which one of these was your favorite. I think in person my favorite might be the little tonkatsu and ebi furai in their little cup with the flags. I just think they're so cute together. But really all of these are just adorable and as I said they just remind me so much of Japanese bento which is exactly what they're supposed to remind you of. <laughs> So let me know how you enjoyed this video in the comments below. As I said, also let me know which one of these little pairings and setups was your favorite or what you think of when you think of like iconic Japanese bento type food. As I said, for me, it's really onigiri, some kind of like 
fried meat, the octopus sausages, the bunny apples, like that sort of stuff. Yeah, just let me know all the things. Anything else you want to see me unbox? Just, I, I just like hearing from you guys. So let me know all of those things in the comments down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below. Become a member of my casserole family here on this channel or my main channel. I would love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.